My name is Mark Coggins, and I am a crime fiction novelist as well as a street photographer. As a photographer who's published seven novels, I am perhaps drawn to scenes that hint or suggest at a larger story. My submission to the banality of evil contest is representative of that approach. It shows a homeless woman in hospital scrubs walking barefoot in front of a large advertisement for a designer purse. Where has she come from? Why is she dressed like this? What is she thinking as she wraps her arms around her head? Whatever scenario you might envision, for example, that she's escaped from a hospital, you know that she is impoverished and tormented, likely suffering from mental illness. The juxtaposition of the advertisement, representing society's obsession with commerce and consumption, and the tormented woman, emblematic of the suffering of the less fortunate, is an example of what photographer Cartier Bresson called the decisive moment. It is, to quote him, the simultaneous recognition, in a fraction of a second, of the significance of an event, as well as of a precise organization of forms which give that event its proper expression. The significance of the event here being, of course, the banality of evil. As a postscript, I might mention that as a resident of the San Francisco Bay Area, I'm in the first day of a three-week shelter in place for the coronavirus. It requires that we socially distance ourselves, staying indoors as much as possible, and keeping a distance of at least six feet from others when we do go out. The homeless, of course, cannot abide by these rules. And just yesterday, the governor of California announced the first death of a homeless person from the virus in Santa Clara County.